Hi guys, uh, Shemi here with another video on the NZ Day Trading 101 channel. So, the troubles that are happening with the NZX is quite annoying for us day traders because what's happening is um, when we go to place a buy order, um, it's taking around nearly 10 minutes just to put the order into the market and it's really annoying and you, it's basically impossible to trade like that because for us day traders, um, it's important that we have um, good speed of execution. Uh, so if our trades aren't executing quickly, then there's no point trading. Um, so this week has been a pretty flat week. Um, the whole week, basically, there's been no trades. Um, no stock has been flying high with like really good volume behind it. Um, and there would be like a few out there, but nothing that meets sort of my criteria. Uh, so my personal criteria, I like stocks that explode higher, that just boom, just straight higher. And then um, um, other people might have a different trading strategy. Some people might like um, stocks that move slowly higher. Uh, but part of my strategy is stocks that explode higher on um, on some sort of a, like news. So basically they should have a reason to go higher and they should have a lot of volume behind it. So um, there's no not much volume flowing through the markets at the moment. Um, last week was a good week, even uh, the week before, but this week has been a bit flat. Um, we do see movers up here. So if you check on the NZX side, you see these are your big movers over here. Um, if you go into something like uh, the Burger Fuel Group, um, $31,000 trading volume. Uh, that's not good enough for me, so I'd rather stay away. Uh, also, it's uh, and something like this as well. This is 20 cents, so I stay away from um, low price stocks as well. So uh, I want something that's yeah, trading over 100 or 200,000, like uh, preferably before the market opens. Uh, as you can see here, low volume again. So I'm basically uh, not personally finding any trades at the moment. So even this one, E Road, um, just too flat, just not enough value traded. So if you're not getting enough volume flowing through the stocks, then they can't really explode higher. And um, like, it's, it's probably okay for those guys with small accounts, but um, me personally and the way I trade, I need to have like some really good volume behind it because I'm quite picky with my trades. So in order to be a good trader, you need to be picky. Um, you don't just trade every trade possible. You need to have some good reasons why you're entering a trade. You need to make a bit of a plan behind it. So yeah, even this one here, uh, CBT. So look at that, 30 grand, but it's up 4%. So we want stocks that are kind of um, up the, we want it to be one of the top percentage gains of the day. Like as we saw last week, like Air New Zealand had plenty of volume behind it and it was exploding high and the trend was higher. So, and not many announcements as well. Like um, you can see here, like a uh, few announcements like Capital Chain, like all these other ones, they're not really, the announcements we want to look for is uh, the price sensor announcements. So these material announcements are sometimes what moves the stock higher, but um, uh, sometimes it doesn't. And you need like a something to kind of force the price um, in an upwards direction. So another thing is um, trend is quite a strong thing when trading. Like uh, right now, we're not seeing any long term upwards trend just because we're in a down market. Um, so before the whole like, epidemic happened, um, a lot of stocks were trending higher. So stuff such as uh, let's have a look. You saw Circo, which was, um, let's type that in. Uh, so Circo was a stock that was kind of trending higher, so we made a lot of gains off that. So as you can see, it's a long, just long-term trend higher. Um, but obviously the trend kind of fell as soon as the coronavirus news came out, it just came going back down. So with the long-term trends, you want to trade in the direction of a trend. So you don't want um, stocks that, it's kind of like since the start, so the best stocks to trade, sorry, there's a lot of sun in my eyes at the moment. Um, so the best stocks to, to trade are the ones with a long-term upwards trend, like this one. So basically, because you know that the long-term trend is up, you want to trade in the direction of the trend. So if you see something like, um, I'm just trying to find another stock that has long-term, let's say like Fonterra, for example. Um, look at Fonterra, it has like a, kind of like a long-term, uh, yeah, kind of like a long-term downtrend. So this is not what you would call like a, um, uh, trading a directional trend. So you wouldn't be able to trade it long term. But um, so for me, obviously, like something like here, um, I did take a trade on this when the earnings announcement came out. Um, you see, there's a huge move to the upside there. But um, 
that's why it's good to short term trade as well because usually um the thing is that there's so many different charts and stocks out there and they all behave in a different way and there's some companies that you know go through the ups and downs and but for me personally a very strong stock to trade is something that has a long term upward trend yeah cool and another thing i want to uh, just tell you guys is that do trade like trade stocks as like a part time thing as a secondary source of income or side income because it's quite hard to be a full time day trader in the NZ market um because trades don't happen all the time um the thing is with us day traders we should be able to look at the market every day uh, as soon as the market happens there's a lot of volume is the stocks flying high is there any particular stocks that stand out if there's nothing move on and just do something else in a day or go back to your job or whatever um it's good to like so if you're on like a desk job or if you're like in a you know a job where you can use your phone then great that's that's a great place to kind of um you know sneakily trade because you know the hopefully the the bosses aren't watching you and um you can kind of trade on your phone or kind of if you've got like two screens in the office and you kind of like sneakily keep like a, a tab open with your trades on it that's quite a good way as well um i used to do that myself when i used to work in the bank um but yeah so another yeah so do this as a part-time gig look for trades um but if there's nothing on the market don't force it wait for something to come to you you'll see it will see something going up on high volume there'll be a lot of news around it we're we going up for like a couple of days now um, just stuff like that just, just need to find reasons why you want to get into the stock so never just take up um full-time trading as a you know as full-time because it's not consistent and there will be some weeks like uh you might have a couple of weeks where there's no trades at all um and then you might have some weeks that are a lot of trades so it just kind of depends it's, it's a very random market it's a very uncertain market and since we're trading on new zealand market there's not everyday stocks don't go up so they tend to go up like a you know you you find stocks here and then when we do find the stocks just trade them so simple as that so another thing i just want to talk to you guys about is that um just this news article over here so investors struggle to buy or sell shares on nzx so basically what's happening is um i've been i've been in touch with the nzx guys i've been in touch with direct broking just having conversations as to like i've been asking i was like there's no point you know for us to trade short term if you guys can't process the the um the the trade orders quick enough so he's just saying give us a ring and then we can sort it out for you and sell it for you but it's like uh we can't even get through the phone so it's quite hard for us at the moment so maybe it's better just to sit on the sidelines so anyone that's kind of new in the market right now these sort of trading volumes aren't um this isn't a normal thing so we need the market to go back and we need like faster trades entering into the market and obviously we want to buy fast and want to sell fast so right now it's taking 10 minutes to buy 10 minutes to sell it's just it's quite annoying and uh, so maybe it's just better to sit on the sidelines just to um virtual trading so hopefully they get this fixed they also this announcement also talks about um see the overloading of NZS clearing the settlement system so it's just so many trades going through the guy said there's like their trade like their monday trades were up by like nearly 300 percent and so that's quite a bit so so that's actually causing a problem for us and um hopefully this will spark a kind of um a reason for the nzx to kind of upgrade the systems and then we should be able to sort that out so yeah all right guys um so thanks for listening to my little video today and please hit the like and please subscribe to the channel it helps me to keep making these videos i'm trying to go for one video per day so uh so let's see how long i can keep it up <laughs> all right see you guys peace